So I thought it would be a fun idea to go in the gallery, try to find like the most expensive houses ever posted. I'm pretty sure there's a way we can sort by that, but I'm pretty excited to see. Cause like, it takes a lot to even have a house that's like a million simoleons. Like that's a lot. You're gonna have a lot of house, a lot of expensive objects. So I'm kind of curious to see like, how expensive do they get? I wanna know. If you're anything like me, I love watching house tours, just going and looking at houses in the area or in other places in the world. I'm like obsessed with it, it's like a hobby. So this kind of feels similar in a way. <laughs> okay, price. We can only do 150 plus? Girl, I know there's more. What about the millions? The billions? Okay, I'm also gonna sort by 50 by 50 lot. Maybe that'll help. Okay, I think we're on to something here. Dude, look at this. See, this isn't even a million. This isn't even a million. I wonder if I could find one that is 815,000. I just typed in million. 1.4 million. What in the world? Holy cow. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Look at this. Honestly, maybe I under Overestimated? Overestimated? Like just how much money you need to make like a mega mansion. I was thinking you need like millions of simoleons, but apparently not. Look at these. And none of these are over a million? That's crazy. Like some of these houses look very realistic. It's so crazy. Look at this house. The trees are on islands. I feel like I've seen this one before, but we'll start with this one because wow. It may not be worth a million dollars, but it has over a million downloads. Oh my God, my game's lagging. There's so much to load. So what if I made it nighttime? That's how it looks in the picture. That is is really something. Holy moly. Okay, let's go inside. Holy cow. Let's go inside as if I was a sim and I'm waltzing right into this mega mansion for the very first time. I'm greeted by the stone butler. You know what? I really wasn't expecting that. I gotta go back out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a person. That's actually kind of scary. Okay, so we've got the two staircases, multiple staircases. I see them. Holy cow. Okay, holy moly. So if I were to be walking through this house, the curtain on the pictures, a nice touch. I think this house might be base game, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we have a big living room with multiple seating areas. You know, if there's anything I ever notice in big, huge mansions, they do have a lot of seating areas. I don't know. I mean, I guess like uber wealthy people just love to sit. They love sitting. That's like one, that's gotta be like their favorite thing to do. Okay, this is the dining room. I thought it was the kitchen. This is huge. And I assume it leads into the kitchen. Ooh, I like the kitchen actually. Somehow this kitchen is not too flashy and I like that. I think the island is really cool. It's like off to the side. It's kind of like a separate dining space. Dare I say, seating area. All right, and then there's another spot over here. Oh, this is the green sitting room. Oh, with the library. Mm -hmm. This room is very green. They said, oh, we doing a theme for this one. We doing a theme. Okay, I think that's all the downstairs. We've got like a little gardening area over here. That's cute. A maze, of course. You can't be rich without a maze. All right, let's go upstairs. All right, you come upstairs. Pigano room. Classic rich person. Classic. Oh my God, these rooms are huge. You know what? They're big, but they don't look bad. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this doesn't look bad. Sometimes when rooms are too big, I think they look bad, but... I think this looks cute. Anyways, bathroom. Wait, how how do you get to this bathroom? How do you get to this side of the house? <gasps> you have to go up the other staircase. Oh wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. So this bedroom has its own very petite bathroom. And then, oh my God, there's like an east wing and a west wing. All right, so let's do this side first. So if we keep going down, we have the world's absolute longest hallway and carpet runner. That's, that's a custom made runner for sure. They don't make them that long. We've got another bedroom. The Touch of the marble floors, very nice. Leads out into this huge balcony that I'm totally not jealous of. Okay, they've got their own bathroom here and it looks like the bedroom next door also has its own bathroom. Everyone gets their own bathroom here. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Oh, two people share this bedroom. Okay, okay. So now if we head on down to the east wing. <gasps> I can't believe I've done this. I thought this whole room was a bathroom. It's not, that's pretty embarrassing. Anyways, you go into this room. What in tarnation? This is like a suite. You walk Walk in, you've got like a living space. You've got an office space, beautiful. You've got a bathroom. And then if you come in here, you got a bedroom. This is an apartment, a very big, nice apartment. Literally someone could just live here without ever having to leave. Oh, they don't have a kitchen. 
Ah, they are missing something, aren't they? <laughs> Almost an apartment. Almost. I love this. Wait, did they put... Oh, that is very smart of them. That is very smart. They put these little, like, window flower baskets in these little balconies. That's a really cute idea, actually. I really like that. Okay, is there anything else? Uh, of course there is. Wait, where are the stairs? Oh, here. Okay. Guys, you guessed it. Another seating area with another TV. How many people live in this house? How many people would be appropriate to live in this house for it to feel like it was worth the money. You need a lot of people. There's a lot of sitting areas, a lot of TVs, a lot of bedrooms, a lot of bathrooms. I don't know. There's no way there's just like a young couple or like a retired couple like living in this house. There's there's no way. You come in here, you have, ooh, craft room. Ooh, I like this room. It is a little dark, a little spooky, but I think the room itself is actually pretty cute. Like especially with the little windows and you can paint and do woodworking and all the base game things. <laughs> and then if you go into this room, Holy cow, this is huge. All right, so they have their own computer in here, bed. They have their own secret hallway with a bathroom. Ooh, a very nice bathroom. What else do they have? What's in here? <gasps> a private study. Ooh, this is cool. This is where they make all their money. See, they sit right here and then they have clients sit in those two chairs. What do they do? I don't know. I don't care. That's fun. Okay, is there anything else that I should see? I think that's it for that. My gosh, look at it from the back. Back. This house is really amazing. Honestly, do you think eight Sims would be enough to fill this house up? Because eight Sims is like the limit. Or do you think you'd need more Sims? I don't know. Like for it to feel full. This house is crazy. Look at this. Stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I have come across something that has piqued my interest. It's over a million dollars. It's a Christmas castle. I feel like it's a sign from the universe and I'm gonna take it. We gotta see this. They've literally only used base game and the holiday celebration pack. So I am so excited right now. Oh my God. This is what it looks like at night and during the day. Oh my gosh. That is so cute that it's like open in the middle. Oh my God. How do you even get in? You go through the gate and oh, oh no, girl, get back down there. Oh my gosh. There's horses. <laughs> this is so cute. It's like a little village. There's a pool. Okay, but how do I get in? <laughs> Where is the entrance? Is this the entrance? Okay. <gasps> This is where I want to live. This is where I, oh, this is it. I have found my home. This is it. <laughs> okay, okay. Is this where Santa sits? You got one single red chair. I don't know, it's saying, it's calling out Santa to me. There's a secret door here as well. What's in here? Y'all, you guessed it, sitting area. Well, this is a living room, okay. I don't know where I am. I've gone in one room, I'm already lost. Okay, so we got a living room there. We've got a bathroom in here. We've got the world's biggest dining table. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? Look at this fireplace, it's gorgeous. Is this the kitchen? Holy cow. And they said, don't forget about the cupcakes. Put the whole machine in. Stop. <laughs> There's more tables back here. Oh, they have red and green lights. Or fountains? Oh my God, what are those? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is just like one section. And then if you go the other way, you've got a nice red and green bathroom in here. Another sitting area with a giant fireplace with the piano. I'm pretty shocked they did this all in a base game. It's pretty impressive. Okay, so this is just a giant hallway, which leads to what I assume is like, where they make the toys? So cute. They even have their own little kitchen. Look at them. And they've got a, oh, not the little TV. They deserve better than that. <laughs> Although if they're really tiny people, that TV might look huge to them. So I don't know. And then they've got a little bathroom. This is pretty funny. This is cute. That's funny. And then they've got stables. I said horses. Oh my God, they were supposed to be reindeer. I get it, I get it. Well, there's only one. Where did the rest of them go? Got a llama. What happened to the rest of them? They're out for a stroll right now. They're just out for a stroll. Okay, let's go upstairs, but I don't even know how to, oh, this is the stairs. Whoa, I am loving all the garland. It is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Ah, I'm feral. All right, let's go in this room. Oh, pig. Okay, you got three beds in this room. We've got 
two beds in this room. They sort of look like they were meant to be like loft beds or like bunk beds sort of things, obviously before we had them. In here, we've got a very green bathroom. It's huge. Another room for two people to sleep. Oh, whoa. This is Santa's room, 100%. It has its own staircase in it. You can't tell me it's not Santa's freaking giant bedroom. At least got a seating area. Fancy. Let's look at the bathroom. Ooh, bathtub in the middle of the room. That's real nice. He even gave him a closet. Is that a secret door? <gasps> secret bookcase door. Oh, and it leads to the gym. I didn't think Santa would have a gym. But you know what? You learn something new every day. All right, let's keep going around. We've got another bedroom here. Oh, I like this bedroom. This is cute. Couple of giant bathrooms. Another giant room. More giant rooms. This is for the kiddos. Oh, this is cute. It almost looks like a, uh, I think it's like a little fake castle sort of thing. Got all the little arches and the beds go in there. That's really cute, actually. More beds there. We've got enough bedrooms for the entire city. Um, but what I want to know is where this little secret staircase goes in his room. Ooh, secret Santa office. Look at this. This is how he knows where he's going on the sleigh. I can sense the story here. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I really, really am. Is there anything else up this high? Oh, we've got like a crafting room here. Where did these stairs come from? These are all kind of hidden throughout. I'm not really like, I'm missing them. Yeah, there's nothing in this room. That's the dungeon. What do we got in here? Ooh. Science room. We even got a whole like telescope. All right, I think I've looked at everything. Dude, my game is lagging so hard trying to load everything in here. I can't even imagine how hard it was to build this with the lag. That is amazing. Oh, if I could live in a castle, that would be the one. All right, moving on. Okay, this one's not nearly as expensive, but like, what the heck? How did they do this? How did they do this? I ha I just have to download it out of pure curiosity. How did they do that? I'm gonna be honest. This is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It didn't look like it was this tall. That's amazing. How have they done this? Is this the tool mod? Oh my god, I don't understand that mod. It's a little advanced for me. Basically, you can take objects and like rotate them on an axis and like do really crazy stuff like this, but then it doesn't count as custom content, which is just wild, man. That is just wild. Like literally look at what they built. This is just crazy. What's the back look like? Oh, oh whoa. Very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's go inside. Oh my gosh, whoa, this is awesome. Wow, it's so much more homey than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna feel kind of a, uh, well, you know, mansions aren't the most cozy places, I would say, but this is super, super cozy. I love that. And I love that like on the stairs, they've made these like landings. I assume with platforms, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go up here to the kitchen. I kind of love what they've done with all the logs. I just think that is so cool. I don't know personally how to do that, but I've just, it's awesome. I just know it takes a lot of time. Oh my god, they made the garlands look so cute. I've never thought to do that. That's so clever. Oh, this one's really, really good. Okay, let's go on the other side. We've got another sitting area, as the rich do. A bar. Very nice. And you guessed it, another place to sit. Wait, did they make this custom? Oh my god, these were cabinets originally, and they've made them into a little seating spot. What are these called? <laughs> like a little bench, a built-in bench. Oh, this is amazing. And then we've got a little uh, patio here with the chess table, very cute. Uh, there is a bathroom in here. Oh, a gorgeous bathroom, no surprise there. I don't even know what this item is, but they've somehow transformed it into a glass shower. I don't know how they've done half of this stuff. This is literally so impressive. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh, we've got another patio out here with a fire pit, very pretty. Oh, wait, what the heck is this item? A floor lamp and then they've, oh my God. I just, I can't even keep Keep up. Wait, we've got an outdoor kitchen, I just noticed. God, it's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. Oh my God. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, so this is just open to below. Beautiful. Oh, so it's like a loft. Look, it's like a loft bedroom. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I got like the built-in little bookshelf over there. The huge curtains, beautiful. A desk, another seating area, classic. Oh, so pretty. And then in here is, whoa, whoa. That's classy. It's not even a bathtub. That's a jacuzzi. It's a jacuzzi. And they got the shower. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these windows. All right, and then let's move on to the other side. You walk upstairs, another seating area. This is kind of like a little 
library, it feels like. A lot of bookshelves. This is open to below as well, where that little seating area is. Oh, there's another bookshelf over there. Or bookshelf, staircase is what I meant to say. What? But let's look at the rest of this. We have another bathroom. This one's a little more simple. We've got another bedroom. You know what? They've done such a fantastic job of not only doing the exterior and using the tool mod and, and um, just making it look really cool, but like the decorating is also really well done. So props to them for um, knowing how to do it all. Another bathroom here, I almost missed that one. And I think that's it for here. So now we can go upstairs, a little secret uh, staircase. Ooh, it's like a, oh, it's like a game room library. Oh my gosh. This is like heaven. Just seeing like all these rows of bookshelves for me is just like heaven. So nice. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, so this was like freshly, freshly made because these are brand new items. This is like a brand new house. Holy cow. This house was fresh out of the oven. It's still warm. It is so cute and cozy. Like it's a big house. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's literally three stories, but somehow it still feels really cozy. Oh, I've just realized that they've like layered rugs. This looks so good. This is such a cute house. It's just so impressive what people can do. Come on! So I thought for the last house we'd go with something small and modest. What do you think? Obviously ugh, not small or modest. It is beautiful though. I love the aesthetic of this house. Like it's really, really pretty. Um, and I love that they've got like this little like, I don't know if it's supposed to be a garage. Oh, I, I honestly, there's a lot of doors. I don't know. I guess we'll have to just dive in and see, but let's take a look around the back because it is just amazing. Look at that. Oh, obviously there's supposed to be fireflies here. Oopsie, I'm ruining the aesthetic of that. Oh, and the hanging plants, the fireplace. I love that it just like wraps all the way around too. That's so pretty. And then they've got a whole greenhouse. Like, okay, Stardew Valley, pop off. Look at this, we got all the trees, bunch of plants, a fountain even with more fireflies. But I love these details of the seeds. Oh, that's so cute. So I am just very curious to know what's going on in here. I really, really am. So let's start there. So we've got a gym. Okay, so are these supposed to be garages? They said, yeah, we're rich. We got a lot of cars, baby. This is some, a painting room? That mystery has been solved. Let's go through the front door now. You walk in. Wow. And then this marble floor has come back again. Is this also a base game? No. Is it? I forgot. Honestly, I forgot to look. So we've got the dining room. What is this room? Is this like a, um, uh, it's like a wine room, whatever they're called. I don't, I don't drink wine, but I've seen those. It's like a cellar. I don't think that's a cellar. I think, never mind. Forget it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here is the kitchen. Uh oh, holy moly. Oh, it goes all the way around. Well, this is definitely an interesting shape for a kitchen. I gotta give them that. What else do we have? A living room. I do really love this. It's like tucked away in a little like alcove. That's cute. Very creative. We've got some blue in there, got some beige in there, a couple of bedrooms, a couple of bathrooms, bada bing, bada boom. On the other side, we have another living area. Piano room, classic. We've seen that one reappear in like every house. We've got a library, like study, library, I think. Okay, moving on up, holy moly. Okay, a lot of marble, a lot of marble. These people love marble. Okay, we've got another bedroom here. I think this is base game. This is definitely base game. I didn't realize these were base game the whole time. I thought that came from something else. Oh, well, the more you know. You think I would know. Oh, we've got a little kid's room slash nursery. <laughs> they grow up out of this and they just go directly into this bed. For now, until infants come out. Well, this is cute. Just like a lot of bedrooms. Nothing too crazy though. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, that was pretty tame on the inside. Love the way it looks on the outside. And you know what I just realized? The little girl garage section over here has like these little towers. How cute is that? I love that. I think that looks so cute. I really love the way that that looks. Oh my God, so gorgeous. You know what? I will say that pro this probably is the most modest of them all. It's still a huge house though. Massive. Well, that is where I'm gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if there's a certain specific type of house you want me to look up on the gallery and I can like browse through, like a certain style or certain price tag or packs or, uh, let me know. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.